Welcome back, large language model automators, Python experts, and my dear friends. Harnessing power of multi-prompt, multi-retriever concepts inside Langchain. Control user experience seamlessly with less effort. You might be wondering, what am I talking about? Where is the user experience? Where is these uh, kinds of multi-prompt and multi-retrievers are coming into picture? And what are these? Recently, Langchain had released new primitives and out of they have been releasing a lot of new primitives for vector stores for uh, agents for chains and uh, they have been innovating around the concept of uh, bringing together multiple services and uh, also they want they their uh, direction is to ensure that the way the user is uh, accessing the tools accessing the chains can be more streamlined currently the way if you have to access multiple uh, for an example if you want to access multiple vector stores so you have different different documents if you have to um, uh, access them then you have to create a list of tools and then you have to create agents and then you have to send agents tools into those agents so it's a it's kind of a roundabout process but you can do that same way for an example if your chatbot has to have different personalities uh, if uh, you, you, for an example you want to create a chatbot for your team one and you want to create another chatbot for your customer you will have to have two different instances right but what if both the chatbots i mean the both the instances of the chatbot can be made into one this is going to save a lot of uh, code lot of uh, you know maintenance later in the future right all you need to do if you are going to need an additional uh, character inside your chatbot application all you need to do is create a extra prompt so how is this even possible that's where the multi prompt uh, uh, primitive as well as the multi retrieval uh, primitive comes into picture as i was explaining the user can chat regarding different topics to the llms and you might want the you want the llm to concentrate on a particular area so you can you want to instruct the llm in a very specific way that talk only about this topic and same way uh, the when you are trying to connect the vector stores with uh, the pdfs or your documents your uh, uh, your uh, manuals so all these things might you might have uh, you know hundreds of manuals and all these hundreds of manuals when you are going to place it inside a single vector store and if you are going to try it uh, to query using uh, the uh, query using a single llm what is going to happen is there will be a lots of confusion arising initially when you are going to work with a smaller document uh, yeah uh, even if you are going to work with 300 pages 500 pages the uh, the direction the the topics that is available in the document may not overlap right because you are going to talk if you are taking a book or if you are taking a single manual so you are going to have a series of uh, concepts series of information and they are not going to overlap that much but what if you are going to have the set of uh, manuals that you are having in your uh, in your organization or what if you are talking about uh, you know the series of books that has been created on a single topic so there might be overlaps happening and when you are going to ask the llm about the question it might actually create a confusion so that's where the multi retriever comes into picture so here i've given some brief introduction about uh, the use cases here so as i was explaining the use case for multi prompt is uh, uh, different bot for different users conditional prompting depending on the user and providing user new choices so that's also something that uh, uh, that you can uh, enable using the multi prompt you know all these things are external to large language models what i'm trying to say is that the large language model is going to be a single uh, single entity or a single agent but uh, depending on the instruction you provide to the large language model you can convert or change the behavior of the large language model so you must have already seen this in action when you are trying to do different prompting in chat uh, uh, with chat gpt or with uh, any of the apis that open ai has provided when it comes to multi retrieval so the same chatbot can serve different teams or domains so 
as i was explaining if you are going to have uh, i say let us take a cloud example so you might have inside the cloud you might have various services and all the services will have different different documentation right and there might be a concept so all these documentation might uh, still want to have an api key and when you are going to ask uh, the uh, the retriever that okay tell me about what api key i need to use for service one it's going to get confused because all the services are going to use apis right how are you going to clearly take that question to that particular document talking about service one so the, that is what you will be seeing in this uh, discussion now so let us start with uh, simple multi prompt so what i have done here is i have just taken the examples that is already available inside the langchain documentation just a moment as i was telling i have taken this example from the langchain documentation that actually led me to a different uh, thought process so you guys can come to the langchain documentation and you can find about the router chains that is uh, selecting multiple prompts with multi prompt chain and selecting multiple uh, retrievers from multi retrieval qa chain however you might be new completely new to langchain also so nowadays langchain has become uh, known to most of uh, most of you guys however still if you are uh, having uh, the basic still is not clear then i would suggest that take a look at this particular uh, especially this particular uh, uh, presentation where i discuss about uh, the uh, the basics of langchain the revolution revolutionizing prompt engineering video and also you can take a look at how to integrate vector stores how to work with embedding all this idea has been uh, you know thoroughly discussed in various videos in this particular playlist with that said the example that i am using will be directly from this uh, documentation only difference is i am trying to change the example a bit so that you guys can understand what is going on so that is the primary intention of it it's prompting you, you guys must be already aware that there are various uh, flavors of prompting uh, you have to uh, you have to understand in detail about prompting also that actually you know uh, led me to one more uh, Uh, one more additional point that i want to add when it comes to prompting you will always need to evaluate the uh, prompting so langchain has got a separate uh, a separate uh, heading called as evaluation where you can actually evaluate the prompts the way you are trying to uh, trying to generate the answers so there are lots of additional uh, additional uh, primitives that can help you to test your prompts that is something also you guys have to take a look because as you are entering into multi prompt uh, engineering i mean there is no, no more single prompt so you are going to work with multiple prompts that is going to give you more uh, you need to have more control you need to understand what is what will happen when your user is going to interact with it and the best way is to you know test it with that said let me go to the presentation and uh, let me you know discuss briefly about what is happening here basically uh, you have to Im import the multi prompt chain it's it's a direct import uh, from yeah you have to also update update your uh, langchain uh, installation by using pip upgrade it's a simple uh, command that you can upgrade it to this version is 161 so uh, the langchain version that contains these uh, updates are 161 so update that and uh, after that once you can uh, once you are able to import multi prompt chain then you are well and good and also ensure that you are able to import multi retrieval qa chain so these two things are important once that is done uh, all you need to do is create multiple templates so here you see that i have created spark template and machine learning template both of these templates have simple prompts which says that uh, the large language model is a big data engineer and another one prompt says that it is a machine learning developer and these two prompts are having its own question input so you see the input here what it the, what this prompts does is it actually gives or instructs the large language model that act as a machine learning developer or a data engineer however you are not going to have these prompts as separate uh, you know entities so wh what happens in case of langchain is that you are going to create something called as a list of prompt infos or informations that provides the necessary description this is very similar to how you create zero shot agents in case of zero shot description agent so you are providing the description you are providing the tools right the same kind of activity we are doing here but 
uh, lang chain has created a new primitive called as multi prompt chain so if you guys have uh, you know uh, worked with agents and tools already then this way of working should be very familiar to you but if you aren't don't worry about that you can you know directly use this this is much more simpler rather than you know it's it's a little convoluted process when it goes to agents and uh, tools you have to understand a lot of additional information which has been abstracted by langchain team thanks to them and all you need to do is uh, create the name for the prompt give a description for the prompt and then you yeah here you see that i am giving a description that good for answering questions about spark this way of prompting is not correct okay you may be wondering kamal then why did you even put it in the example the reason is that i want to show you that you have to mention clearly that uh, you in the description you have to mention that good for answering questions about spark and big data engineering or you have to mention uh, questions about data engineering so what will happen is when you are uh, uh, when you are uh, when your user is uh, create uh, asking a question related to data engineering the uh, the agent i mean the llm can find out which prompt to use this is the key point that i wanted to uh, highlight because this description is very important and the name also uh, here as i was telling here you see this kind of updates the good to answer machine learning questions so this will help the uh, this will help the llm to directly select the prompt based on the question without any confusion so uh, it, this is uh, this is something that uh, you know changes changes a lot so all you need to do is you have to create uh, this uh, uh, this particular method from prompts and provide the llm the llm that you are using and send the prompt infos and make verbose equal to true or false verbose equal to true will help you to see what is the llm doing initially use verbose equal to true to understand what the llm does it's very important and then you have to just say chain dot run this is basically a chain uh, uh, at the uh, at the base level the chain class will be uh, will be inherited and all this activity is happening at the uh, at the top level that is at the user level that is you uh, or the programmer level but uh, yeah at the bottom it will be mo mostly chains that is about uh, multi prompt when it comes to multi retriever this is going to uh, you might have to you know do a little more work uh, in order to test this out because it's not going to have uh, it's not going to have a single retriever and you for that matter may not be aware of what is a retriever a retriever is a uh, is an object or an instance which is having a vector store connected with it and which uh, the vector store is basically a kind of a database which can be queried using something called a similarity search so the retriever has the ability to connect the vector store to the large language model and the large language model can query the vector store directly i hope you understood the brief discussion a brief definition i had provided for the retriever and uh, you know making the retriever uh, work is very simple you have to have a, a vector store so this uh, you know you see this particular uh, uh, particular in instantiation so what is happening here there is a face face is a type of a vector store a vector uh, database and uh, this face database can take the documents that is the text documents that you have text or image or whatever kind of documents you have and it can use the embeddings that is open ai embeddings I, I have not imported the open ai embeddings here so ensure that you import it and then once you uh, provide both of these things the vector store will be created which will have the vectors also and then you are initiating something called as as retriever so you need to do this for all the documents here the difference is that there are three different documents you see app 1 app 2 app 3 all this documentation could be related to different applications that is running in your organization or in your teams and you might want to have separate uh, discussions or uh, separate manuals with respect to these retrievers as usual we create these retrievers and then you create retriever infos how you create a prompt infos here you create retriever infos and again the description is more important you see here the description that used for answering questions about app 1 or app 2 or app 3 and you can actually modify this into more elaborate uh, description also to ensure that when the user is uh, asking about uh, asking any question related to a particular app then you can a particular app or a topic or a document you can 
appropriately direct the llm to work with the retriever or else there will be a confusion and if the user is very vague how to handle it so at that time you might have to work with little more prompt engineering with the agents so there is a separate con concept called as agents use that and then try to uh, use this chain as a tool there so you can do that also so there is one more step you can uh, uh, go but at this moment when you are practicing as i always say the most important thing is practice for the minimum uh, best output that you can get so uh, practice with just three of your retrievers you know create small uh, use small files uh, small text files and create some retrievers and try to work with uh, ensure that those files are completely different so for an example you can discuss about linux in one file you can discuss about uh, python in another file you can discuss about uh, something totally irrelevant for an example uh, you want to discuss about uh, the moby dick uh, story so you can discuss that also so when you are going to have such uh, completely different documents and if you ask the llm to do the retrieval you will see how the how this uh, multi retrieval qa chain works the 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 key as i always say the key here is how you describe it okay rest of the things are something that you must have already done so you must have already worked with prompts you must have already worked with retrievers and vector stores only thing is now uh, you know getting the llms to work with appropriate uh, retrievers and uh, prompts and that is going to be done through this description i hope that you uh, like this content this is a brief introduction that i have provided the practice for these examples can be directly taken from any of your collab notebooks that is already available that you have been already practicing you, you must have been practicing vector stores you must have been practicing the uh, prompts already so take those notes uh, that is much better rather than me giving my examples i felt that all you need to do is take two different prompts that is working for you and then take those two prompts and send it as a separate templates here and then try to work with the multi prompt chain same way work with two different retrievers or three different retrievers that is working for you and then take that and send it through this retriever infos and try to get it to work once you do that you will get more confidence that is the intention of you know letting you to practice these examples by yourself i hope uh, you know you you would like to you will have some uh, good uh, uh, good outcomes with your uh, trials with that said uh, do share this uh, content with others langchain team has been uh, religiously updating the uh, langchain library recently and they have been uh, you know updating new uh, primitives these are not the only primitives the reason why i spoke about multi prompt and multi retriever is that these solve real world problems you see that right there are lots of use cases where you can use these multi retrievers and multi prompts that is the reason why i initiated uh, this particular video after a long time so i have been discussing mostly about open source uh, related topics and i have been uh, working with the hugging face models and uh, showing how to work with transform models you can take a look at my playlist also so i hope uh, you uh, you will understand the uh, you know benefit of uh, uh, these videos with that said i would uh, like to end with i would like to request you guys to subscribe to my channel for further updates on similar videos and uh, uh, do uh, practice so as usual i would like to close this video with four words that is practice 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 see you guys have a great time